Sputnik V. We are joined by Kirill Dmitriev. Uh, he is the head of the Russian Direct Investment Fund that financed the development of Sputnik V. He joins us from Moscow. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you. Um, first of all, can I get your reaction to the news that Slovakia, as of yesterday, is buying doses of Sputnik V? Well, I think it's very important news. It shows that Slovakian government, the Slovakian prime minister really cares about his people. And he's chosen one of the three vaccines in the world with efficacy more than 90 percent. And he understands that the real choice, there is no choice. He needs to protect his people. And there is a fake choice that is being tried to uh, be put by some of the people in EU, you know, EU solidarity or Sputnik. But this is a fake choice. The real choice is we need to use different vaccines that work to protect people in different countries. And this is the only decision. Why is that a fake choice, as you say, by the EU, given that the European Medicines Agency has yet to give the green light to Sputnik V? Well, uh, EU clarified that Hungary completely followed the procedures that exist. Slovakia did as well. So EU members can and have a right to do so. And as you mentioned, Czech Republic and some other countries are thinking about this. And secondly, we did apply for EMA approval. We are working very closely with EMA. We hope rolling review starts. We see that there is a big pharma lobby that tries to prevent Sputnik from you know, being in Europe, but we want to calm a pharma lobby down. We are not going to be a huge player in Europe. All we can do for now is to provide 50 million doses in Q2, Q3 of this year. And that is not going to be a decisive factor but it is going to be an important factor to have people vaccinated earlier. Do you think then this is a sort of political decision uh, by the EU to not give the green light uh, to Sputnik V when it has done uh, to AstraZeneca and, and Pfizer? Well, first of all, we actually see great support from President Macron and he sent his great team to Russia, headed by Marie Paul Kini, who is great and they're working with us almost 24 hours a day. We also have great support from Chancellor Merkel, who gave us Paul Ehrlich Institute, and they're working with us as well. So I think we have lots of European leaders who understand that they need to have many different vaccines. And by the way, we also partner with AstraZeneca. But we also see a big lobby from uh, some big pharma companies that are trying to slow Sputnik down and try to you know, spread different rumors that are false about it. We applied for EMA, we can give 50 million doses, and we want the vaccine to be not political. I think this is one of the non-political bridges Russia and Europe can really have together. Well, look, you know, Sputnik V has, at least in the past, come under some criticism because of a lack of uh, transparency, because uh, mass vaccinations began in Russia before uh, the results of phase three trials were released. Um, why did Russia do that? And do you understand, therefore, why there has been some hesitancy um, about Sputnik V? Well, first of all, I think all of those questions have really been answered by the Lancet article. That showed more than 90% efficacy and realized that Sputnik is vaccine for the world, not only the safe platform of human adenoviral vector, incredibly efficient, you know, can be stored plus two, plus eight, and is very affordable. And if you see what Russia has done, uh, you know, many people forget that Pfizer and Moderna, their phase three will be finished in the next couple of years. So phase three trials are not complete for mRNA vaccines. Able to protect our high risk groups in September, October already, but and we knew it's safe and efficient, and we proved it with the Lancet article, and now it's registered in more than 40 countries in the world. There's been lots of concern recently about various mutations um, of coronavirus. In your understanding, or based on the research of, on Sputnik V, is it effective against some of these mutations we're seeing from South Africa, uh, from the United Kingdom? Yeah, definitely. So we proved the efficiency of Sputnik exactly the same efficacy uh, with the UK mutation. And we can publish this data in the next, hopefully, couple of weeks. And there have been also good results on the South African variant. And by the way, this is why we believe Sputnik is so important, because it uses two different shots. Uh, and that makes it more prone uh, to mutations and other vaccines that use the same shot for uh, two different shots of the vaccine. But we will publish this data hopefully in March and shows that Sputnik is very effective against mutations because of the way it was designed. 
we believe it is specifically designed to be very effective against mutations. Just uh, finally, you touched on the idea that um, Sputnik V may work with the developers of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, tell us how that might happen um, in practice. Will you not be um, a rival with other pharmaceutical companies, but effectively working in coordination to vaccinate as many people as possible? Well, thank you. I think that's a great point, because basically it's important to understand we pioneered this approach called heterogeneous boosting. It sounds very technical, but you use two different shots. And basically with AstraZeneca, we already started clinical trials, which will be AstraZeneca shot and a Sputnik shot. And we can do the same with other vaccine makers. And we believe this approach of using two different shots will actually increase efficacy of vaccines. So we have an official collaboration with AstraZeneca and hope actually to extend it to other vaccine makers and believe that vaccine makers should work together. There is huge demand in the world for vaccines and only by working together can we overcome the pandemic. All right, Kirill Dmitriev, the uh, CEO of the Russian Direct Investment Fund uh, that has uh, paid for the research into Sputnik V. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.